Hey everyone, welcome back to Student on a Budget. Today in this segment of Eating on a Budget, we're taking a look at the Banquet Meatloaf Meal. Gravy with meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn. Now this does look like the Salisbury steak meal, although I will say that the gravy must taste similar to that. And the patty, well, I expect it to be different. Anyway, uh, turning this around, we're going to see the cooking instructions. So it says to cut and remove film cover from potatoes and microwave on high for three minutes. Stir potatoes, microwave for an additional one and a half to two and a half minutes, and then let it stand for two minutes and carefully remove as product will be hot. Now let's take a look at the nutrition facts. For those of you who are worried or wondering what the nutrition label reads. Now it has 250 calories and 45 milligrams of cholesterol and 930 milligrams of sodium. That's pretty high if you think about it, 930 milligrams. But then again, I don't eat this because it's healthy. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. I'll try to open it with one hand. I'm sure I'll get good at this over time. But, and I think I opened it wrong. All right, so here it is out of the freezer and of course, is pretty hard it does say not to thaw and also the instructions do tell us to remove the film that is on top of the mashed potatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and then peel it off That's all you do, all you have to do really is uh, peel it off so there we go peel off the plastic I'm gonna get rid of this there's our mashed potatoes here are our corn and there's our meat patty with gravy so let's go ahead and put this in the microwave Carrying this over to the microwave, which is conveniently right here. Drop that in there, and yes, you did hear the the meat patty crash against my plate there. But it does say um, microwave on high for three minutes. So I'm gonna just hit start and let it do its thing. I'll be right. Back. All right, so it's ready, and we're just gonna carefully pull this out and right here and the instructions do ask us to stir the mashed potatoes and here I am mash, uh, stirring them you know what let me just swap out hands because I'm not good with my left and they do look a bit watery right now that's okay because we're gonna cook it for an additional two and a half one and a half to two and a half minutes I'll put it in for two two should be fine so I'll be back once it's ready. All right, so it is complete. So we're just gonna pull this right out. I know in the last video I did show you that I did take the plastic off before um, between cooking time, but uh, I didn't read it in the instructions that you could take off the plastic or not. So I just kept it on because of course the instructions are very vague. Anyway, just get rid of this plastic here. Here is the meal itself. And here is the steak or the, the meatloaf patty with the gravy. Hopefully it does thicken up as it cools because it is pretty watery. And here are the corn pieces, the little corn kernels. And here is the mashed potatoes. Now as you can see, it's not as watery as it was when we were halfway through cooking. I'm sure it's gonna taste the same as the previous meal we reviewed. This is gonna be the same. I hope this isn't so. But I'm gonna take this to my desk and I'll be right there. Alright, so here I am with the meal directly in front of me, and let's get started with the little stuff, like the mashed potatoes and the corn. So I'm going to start off with the corn, and get some corn here, as you can see there. Blow it. You were supposed to let it sit for two minutes, but I think I can handle a little pain. Mmm, spilling it everywhere. Very rubbery. Nothing compared to the previous corn. It's kind of plasticky. Very chewy. I think I'm going to move on to the mashed potatoes, which I feel are going to be no better. So let me just give them one last big stir. So they can cool down just a little bit. There's a spoonful. Not really a spoonful, a uh, forkful if you might. play doh -y. Again, still like Play-Doh, but I feel like if I mix some of this gravy with the mashed potatoes, it'll taste good. Yeah, very mushy. 
So let's move on to the steak. It's not really steak, it's uh, meatloaf, so I'm going to just give this a mix. Because not the, not the, the whole patty's not covered, basically, with this sauce. So I'm going to give it a flip. Nice little mix here. And get a piece. That gravy smells different to me. I find it similar to the Salisbury steak, but not enough to say it's Salisbury steak because the patty is shaped differently, but it tastes differently too. It's a little more on the salty side, of course, because it's 900 and something grams of salt, but it is pretty salty. It's not as mushy as a Salisbury steak, and it's pretty firm. The steak is pretty firm. I do like the flavor of the steak, but I think it owes its flavor to the gravy. So what I'm going to do now is uh, mix some of this um, mashed potatoes with some of the gravy. See if that fixes the flavor of the mashed potatoes. I can still taste the mashed potatoes, but... It, it tastes different with this, um, with the sauce or the gravy. There's some of that gravy. Hopefully you can see that. Tastes better. I think I'm going to finish this. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.